Levi. Want to say Grace? As Conan O'Brien would say, sure. Dear Diane Zamer, thank you for this food, and may the cold open get better every day. Amen. Amen. You know, Ellie, you could have thought about the non-meat eaters at the table when preparing this lovely dinner. Oh, well, you know, there's actually mashed potatoes in the fridge, and there's rolls right here, so help yourself. Oh, thoughtful. You know, I read an article that meat is an essential part of the human diet. Oh, you and your studies. So, Ellie, what is it like being one of the only underclassmen in the transcript? It must be so interesting. <laughs> oh, you know, it's just great. I love the opportunity and being able to bring fresh ideas to the table. I mean, it must be a little nerve-wracking. You know, you guys are on your way out. Yeah, it can be, but at least you don't have three more years in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, speaking of, how are college apps going? How's MCAS prep going? No need to get so aggressive, Maddie. No one likes an angry woman. Hmm. Oh, are you even old enough to have that opinion? Well, back in my day... You're 17! Kids these days, they just don't respect us elders. I am older than you. Well, you know, age is just a number. Of course you'd say that. What is this, a white? You know, you guys really love to fight. Shut, Shut up, up, Levi! Levi. It's true, the whole class notices it. Yeah, well, they don't even know the difference between ISO, aperture, and shutter speed, so who are they to judge? Oh, shut up, you wannabe PVPA kid with your $2,000 thrifted camera. You know, the Colton boys were much better last year. <sighs> shut up, Levi. Hi, I'm Iris. And I'm August. This week on The Transcript, Hamped Up explores mountain biking. We investigate Northampton's new policing initiative grant. Takeaways tries the Mexican cuisine of La Vera Cusana. And we get ready for the Rock of Ages musical auditions. We have a magical wheelie bike outside. Yeah, it's got uh, two tires, it's black, it's got a Gatorade bottle all ready to go. It's it's right out front. Thank you so much. Hey, you got it. Two wheels, black, Gatorade bottle. All right, I can remember that, it's not too hard. Oh crap. Two wheels, not black. Not it. Not it. Not it. Oh my gosh, is that it? Two tires, it's black. No Gatorade bottle. Man, I can't do this anymore. Biking has become more popular for recreation over the years. In our area, some people go to the skate park to do tricks, on long bike rides, and sending in the woods. We spoke to local riders to get some insight on the skills it takes to bike and how big a commitment biking is. I really like mountain biking because it's just like a really great way to get out in the woods with your friends. Like I really started doing it over COVID when that was one of the only things you could do with other people. 
Um, and it just started out of that. We would go to Sawmill in Florence. We would just ride on those trails. It's really fun, really great way to get outdoors. I enjoy how it gets you outside and it's a great way to get active. You can enjoy the scenery, especially at this time of year because of all the nice fall foliage. So I would say the fact that it gets you outside and you can spend time with your friends, that's probably my favorite part. Mostly the jumps. Having exercise in the woods is kind of fun and just like enjoying yourself, being free. Yes, it's definitely a sport, <laughs> for sure. It's something you do athletically and you can compete in it, so it's 100% a sport. Of course I would say it's a sport. Um, like anything else, it gets you outside, there's competitions, there's races. I have races nearly every weekend. Um, it's a commitment, like any other sport, so I would say it's a sport. Thanks for watching Amped Up and have a happy Thanksgiving. After the death of George Floyd in 2020, activists pushed for change in the Northampton Police Department. Recently, Northampton was granted $450,000 to fund a new department called the Division of Community Care. This department is being created to provide alternative responses to certain public safety related calls. The funding was provided by the State Department of Public Health Equitable Approaches to Public Safety Grant Program. So this, so the Department of Community Care ha is something that came out of um, the city's exploration of um, an alternative response to a police response. So back in 2020, you know, when um, George Floyd was murdered and really, I feel like the, the country really sort of started to the, the tide turned and people really started to, to have real conversations about um, about what's appropriate for police interaction and and alternative responses for things, particularly around mental health, where someone doesn't need a police response and sometimes a police response can, has been had tragic consequences or um, has really aggravated a situation when it it didn't need to. So. Um, we created the Northampton Policing Review Commission, former Mayor Narkowitz, and I did as I was then the council president. And um, we brought together this commission who looked at this question, and their recommendation was um, a, a Department of Community Care, something like what we're building. When I think about it, the role of the community responder, um, you know, they're not going to respond to calls where there's a threat of violence or where a person may have a weapon or um, a call where someone might harm themselves or harm another person. I do know what we're already good at is responding to people who have substance use issues. So we're gonna continue that work and weave what we're already doing into the work of our community responders, help people with grief and loss, help people you know, when we need to do wellness checks or um, help the people who are experiencing houselessness. Um, mediation and disputes would be another component where we would respond to. This is evolving. It's a process. Um, but the number one most important thing that I want to um, make sure that we're fostering is A, the safety of our community members, those that we're responding to, those that are responding, and that we are really thinking about changing outcomes, that we're not just you know, secular. We want to make sure that we are improving the quality of people that we're responding to. I do think that Northampton is leading the way statewide. I'm bringing out a delegation of DPH officials to come meet in Northampton and Amherst because I, I don't think work like this is happening in very many places. I know it isn't. Uh, so I'm pretty darn proud of the region and, um, and, you know, Northampton's model is different than Amherst's model. And I, I do think there's a lot, again, a lot to learn and grow um, with. And the state has a, you know, has an, a really a, both an opportunity and a responsibility to fund it. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Last year's musical, Mamma Mia, was a huge success at NHS, selling out all four performances. This year's musical has been announced as Rock of Ages and will include an all new directorial team. As this year's auditions approach, we interviewed director David Grout and musical director Susan Dillard, as well as students auditioning, to find out what makes the musical at NHS successful. <laughs>
I am going to do the musical because it just seems like a very fun environment and I've never really done anything like it before. Last year when I saw it, it was really good and it seemed like a lot of fun to be a part of. I hope to get out of the musical, um, just the experience itself, and I also hope to make you know new friends and meet more people that are interested in like things. I think in previous years, the people that have been running it, such as Bo, have done an incredible job making the musical what it is. And I know Susan will do a very similar job in that the cast of the musical are such hard workers and will, I'm sure, bring a, a spectacular project to NHS. I really like the choice of musical. I think it was definitely something that people weren't expecting, which I also think adds a level of intrigue to it. It's a musical that maybe is less known and doesn't have the same kind of novelty aspect as Mamma Mia, but it is an awesome musical with lots of opportunities for all sorts of acting and singing. I also think it's great. I'm super excited for it. I love jukebox musicals and especially one with such a variety of music, especially really fun and upbeat music. I know last year with Mamma Mia it was really successful and this is a bit of a different tone, but still has the upbeat and fun life that it did. What do I think of the choice of Rock is Ages? Um, at first, I had no idea what it was, but um, Rock of Ages, once I started listening to the soundtrack, it's so fun. It's so fun. And also what's great about it is that they're all 1980s rock songs. So we know a lot of them. Our parents will know a lot of them. That was one of the reasons why the musical was chosen, just because it's one that everyone can get involved with the audience and the people on the show. I just hope it's a really fun one, especially as a senior. You just want it to be something that you remember forever. I hope to bring a new feel, a new energy. I hope to bring a new collaboration between NHS theater and NHS music and make a fully collaborative production. Rock of Ages is a love story slash love triangle story set in the background of the Sunset Strip in the 1980s rock and roll heyday. There's a website that will be emailed out and a QR code on posters around the school. There's a link on how to sign up. There's an audition form that you fill out and all the materials that you would need. I think it's important to have theater at NHS because it's one of the ultimate community building activities. You can't have a musical without involving artists uh, performers, the tech people behind the scenes, the teachers get involved. It's such a great way to build community and a lot of different activities have that same wonderful team building, team connection, but the musical, you get to be somebody that you're not. And so just kind of adding that on top of it just creates a really great opportunity for everybody to try something new and work together to accomplish this masterpiece. Thanks for watching. Auditions for Rock of Ages will be held December 5th and 6th. To sign up to audition, visit the link in October 28th's Hello Hamp. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Be sure to come to Northampton High School's Functionless Improv Show this Sunday, November 20th at 5.30 at Happier Valley Comedy. It will be cool and fun. Mm -hmm.